Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, find the number of triangles formed by joining the vertices of a polygon of 10 sides. So what is the given question? There is a polygon of 10 sides and you are asked to find out how many triangles can be formed by joining the vertices of the polygon. So now let's find out a generalized formula for this. A polygon of m sides. A polygon of m sides will be having m vertices. So that is the first point you can remember. A square. A square is having four sides. And how many vertices a square is having? A square is having four vertices. So any polygon you take and check, if there are m sides, there will be m vertices. How a triangle is formed or how many vertices are there for a triangle? A triangle means it will be having three vertices. A triangle is formed by the joining of three vertices. So the task is to find out how three vertices can be selected from these m vertices. So in total there are m vertices and you have to select three vertices from that. How it can be done? It is a selection so it can be done in m c3 ways. It is a case of combination. When selection comes it is combination. So there are m c3 ways in which three vertices can be selected from the total of m vertices or you can say m c3 triangles can be formed from a polygon of m sides. So here what is m? m is equal to 10. It is given the polygon is having 10 sides and how many triangles can be formed. So here m is equal to 10. So our answer will be 10 c3 which will be giving you 10 into 9 into 8 divided by 1 into 2 into 3. By cancelling out the common factors, you will be getting 2 and 10, 5 you will get here, 3 and 9, so you will be getting 3, so 8 into 5 into 3 which gives you 120. So 120 triangles can be formed by joining the vertices of a polygon of 10 sides. So you already studied the general formula for that. A polygon for M sides means M C3 triangles can be formed. Second question, find the number of diagonals of a polygon of 12 sides. So again we can find out the generalized formula first. So M sides polygon means how many vertices will be there? M vertices will be there. A diagonal is formed by joining of two vertices. When we join two vertices, you will be getting a diagonal. Suppose start with a square, start with a rectangle. So you are having four vertices and you are having four sides. So when you are joining the two vertices A and C, you will be getting one diagonal. And when you are joining the vertices B and D, you will be getting another diagonal. So you have to select two vertices from the M vertices. That is how you will be forming the diagonals. So M C2 will be the total number of selections possible. You are selecting two vertices each from the total of M vertices. But you can note here, note here that by joining the vertices A and D, you are not getting a diagonal, but you are getting a side of the polygon. A D is a side. Similarly, by joining A and B, you are getting the side of the polygon and not a diagonal. Similarly, by joining the vertices B and C also, you are getting a side only, you are not getting a diagonal. And C and D means you will be getting again a side and not a diagonal. So MC2 means it will be giving you both sides and diagonals. So in order to get the number of diagonals, you have to subtract with number of sides. So MC2 means the total number of ways in which two vertices can be selected from a total of M vertices. Since this MC2 includes a number of sides also, in order to find out the number of diagonals, you have to subtract the number of sides from this. So MC2 minus M will be giving you the number of diagonals for a polygon of M sides. So here you are having M is equal to 12. It is asked a polygon of 12 sides. So number of diagonals will be equal to 12 C2 minus 12 which will be giving you 12 into 11 divided by 1 into 2 minus 12. So you will be getting 66 minus 12 which is equal to 54. So there are 54 diagonals for a polygon of 12 sides and you can see the number of diagonals for a polygon of M sides is equal to M C2 minus M. Next question, how many triangles can be formed by 11 points 
out of which five are collinear in a plane so in total there are 11 points and by selecting three points each you will be able to get a triangle but it is given five points are collinear so out of these five points even if you are selecting three points you will not be getting a triangle okay suppose these five points are collinear collinear means they lie in a same line so a b c d are collinear points means even if you are selecting three points a b c you will not be getting a triangle but you will be getting a straight line only Similarly, suppose you are selecting B, C, D also, you will be getting only a straight line, you will not be getting a triangle. So, 5 are collinear, it is given. So, how many triangles can be formed by 11 points, out of which 5 are collinear? So, totally how many triangles can be formed? You have to select 3 points each from the total 11 points. It can be done in 11 C3 ways. It is a selection of 3 points from the total of 11 points. And suppose you are selecting 3 points from the 5 points means you will not be getting a triangle, you will be getting a straight line only. So you have to subtract 5C3 from this 11C3. So 5C3 is the number of ways in which 3 points can be selected from the total of 5 points and 11C3 means the number of ways in which 3 points can be selected from the overall total of 11 points. So your answer will be 11C3 minus 5C3. You can here also you can select A, D, E or you can select B, C, E. Likewise, 5C3 ways you will be able to select 3 points from these total of 5 points. So that is why you have to subtract 5C3 from 11C3. So you will be getting 11 into 10 into 9 divided by 1 into 2 into 3 minus 5C3 is equal to 5C2. You already know NCR is equal to NC n minus r both of these are same only so you'll be getting 5 c3 is equal to 5 c2 so you can do 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 it will be more easy that is why we did like that so, so what you'll be getting 11 into 5 into 3 minus 5 into 2 which gives you 165 minus 10 is equal to 155 so 155 triangles can be formed by 11 points out of which 5 are collinear. Suppose this out of which 5 are collinear are not given means your answer will be 165. 11 C3 will be your answer. But here it is a special case. It is told 5 points are collinear. So you have to subtract 5 C3 from 11 C3 and you will be getting 155. Last question of the day. How many straight lines can be formed by joining 12 points in a plane out of which 5 are collinear? So how this can be done? Here it is a similar kind of question. But how many straight lines can be formed is the question. So, how to form a straight line? You have to select two points from the given points in order to form a straight line. So, if there are 12 points means you have to select two points from that. So, you will be getting 12 C2 ways you will be able to select two points each from the given 12 points. So, five po points are collinear or five points are lying in a straight line. So, in whatever ways you are selecting this two points already a straight line is formed okay already one straight line will be formed like this so even if you are selecting a and b you won't be getting an extra straight line or you are selecting b and c or you are selecting a and d and all you won't be getting an extra straight line okay there is already a straight line joining all these five points and by selecting any two of these five points you won't be getting an additional straight line okay these five points are lying in a straight line so, by selecting any two of these points will not be giving you additional straight lines. So, you have to subtract 5C2 from this and plus 1 you have to do because all these 5 points will be lying in a straight line only. So, that line will come and no other additional lines will be coming. So, you have to subtract 5C2 from this. So, your answer will be 12C2 minus 5C2 plus 1 which will be giving you 12 into 11 by 1 into 2 minus 5 into 4 divided by 1 into 2 plus 1. So, what you will be getting? 11 into 6 which gives you 66. So, 66 minus 10 plus 1. So, 57 will be your final answer. Thank you for watching.